Welcome everybody to the news slash opinions video that I always do. Everything has my opinion, so take it as you will. Hate it or love it, I'm still going to be here, still going to be giving my opinions, and still going to be doing my video. Kirio Cypher has been working hard to get rid of bad elements in the community and to get rid of bad juju, bad stuff that has happened from their time in the Rainbow Colored Company. They were, as you know, uh, someone there recently that had recently graduated, one of the recent male graduates, and um, it's very obvious just by looking at who they are, but they wanted to get rid of drama. This is a little bit of what's going on here. Let me give you a little bit closer. Here is a summary of Kirio's stream. One, it will be said as a VOD. She know he knows. There will be people who do not have context for what he's about to say, wants to be very firm in how he delivers this, not the scared little boy he was when he got into Wendy's in 2022. We all know what Wendy's means for him. Reading from a script that was approved by friends, mods, fellow content creators, managers, etc. So he actually went and he, you know, got ideas and he made sure that what he said was going to be the best way he could say it. Understands that there may be groups of people who feel shunned. When this was initially addressed while he was at the agency, he had made his stance very clear and was proud of himself at the time. He felt his jurisdiction was on stream and on stream only. At first, it was received well. When he left the agency, there were more people who stalked him, bullied him, sent him those type of threats anonymously behind the scenes, essentially goading him to respond. He does not, nor will he ever, condone bullying. That is very, very important, very, very good for him to go and say that because it, 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 it needs to be said. It absolutely needs to be said. He will not ban someone for an opinion they stated in a private setting. People are allowed to have opinions of you, whether they are true, wrong, stupid, invalid, or bad. He is not there to police or defend you. He does not promote to minors, period. Not, not policing like this is a standard for every streamer. I hate that there are double standards with me, so people are expecting to police it extremely strongly to really call it out, and other streamers don't. You know, that's, that's one of those things that's like um, double standards really suck. He will not ban over subtweets. Do not use his tags or his name inappropriately. How is it that I have 194 tweets and people still find a reason to involve me? I literally just play my horror games, bro. That's what he says. Neither side of the fan base has been innocent or perfect. He mentions as well. These are quotes from him. He does feel like people are keeping a tally of the names he reads from chat. It's immature. So he wants people to stop it. Understand it feels bad to be called out name called names or have untrue things said about you trust me basically he says he know he understands that established content creators have spread rumors about him that he has to deal with you need to block and move the f on he loves his community thanks his mods for doing a good job he trusts their actions completely summary from the second part part two there are fake fans out there who are essentially anteing him oh i'm waiting for someone else to debut type of beat take a break if you need to misusing hashtags is a bannable offense for long-term viewers Passive-aggressive comments are also bannable offense for long-term viewers. Gotta pass the vibe check. He's tired of dealing with this, as a lot of people are tired of dealing with this type of stuff. I am very glad that he is putting his foot down. It is hard to do that as a content creator because you feel you're going to be going against your community. You feel that your community is going to have something against you. It is really hard to do this, but I applaud him. I It's just, wow, I'm very, very happy. I'm very glad. I, my opinion doesn't really matter for most of these things. But wow, this is a huge change. This is huge. I'm giving him the props and that's why I'm putting him out here because I know I, you know, people are like, oh, you do drama all the time. I want to put out the good things too. This guy is actually taking a risk against, you know, the, the severe people in this community, taking a risk of losing people to actually defend himself and actually make sure that it is a safer place. It is a more normal place to be. LXOX is an indie dorky lewd bun. Uh, you know, she's on the blue site. And all that kind of stuff, the other blue sites and all those other kind of things. She has um, some 18 plus stuff, a lot of 18 plus stuff, which is why I'm not scrolling down. What I am going to do, though, is I am going to cover the YouTube situation that she has. My YouTube channels were terminated without warning for spam and deceptive practices, despite following all guidelines. Appeals for my main channel and VOD channel were rejected, but my shorts channel was reinstated, proving this may have been a mistake. I've tried reaching out via Google support chat had asked simple questions, none of which were answered because they use bots, they use AI, they use whatever, they use, it's, it's a chat bot or something, unfortunately. I'm not getting the help I need to understand or resolve the issue. These channels mean everything to me. I've poured years of work into building this community and it's heartbreaking to lose it. At Team YouTube, can I speak with someone to review this further? Please help. For everyone reading this, 
please like, retweet, and at Team YouTube below this post for the radar. And here's what it is. LXX, we have reviewed your appeal for the following. We reviewed your channel carefully and have confirmed that it violates our spam, deceptive practices, and scams policy. I don't know how. She's just a VTuber that puts out content. I've seen her content. While it may be not uh, appealing to some, it's not scam, spam, or deceptive practices. Uh, how does this affect your channel? We won't be putting your channel back up on YouTube. It's one of those automated things. It absolutely has to be an automated. The specific reason I was flagged, has my channel received strikes? Can I add anything more to this as it has been reviewed by our team already? So this is a chat person or chat bot that has given up, pretty much. You have everyone down here, Fifi, uh, Sunny, Sunny Explosion is talking about this, Megalodon, um, Legal Mindset, Andrew's talking about this, Team YouTube did answer, and let me get to what Team YouTube said. Totally understand how important this is to you, mind sharing the channel's URLs. Note that a single case of severe abuse like predatory behavior, spam, or pornography can result in channel termination without a warning. Here's uh, the VOD channel. I also have not broken any YouTube's TOS. You have listed above, and I understand the severity if I were to, which I plan on not doing. My team and I have worked incredibly hard on those channels. I really hope you guys can reconsider. Down here, it says it looks like you've already appealed and received an email outlining the final decision on both channels. We know it wasn't the outcome you were hoping for, but there's nothing more we can do. Regular boilerplate response from YouTube when they want to be lazy and not do a goddamn thing. It really is annoying. Sunny is saying not a bot, of course. No human reviewed this. Be serious. bro. y'all know this ends every single time. You nuke someone's livelihood. They come to Twitter to call you out about it. You have a bot reply saying the decision is final. Their whole audience calls you out. Finally, you backpedal on the decision. How about skipping the BS? Automated mod team or an actual team of human people? You guys really don't pay human beings anymore? People are not believing this. I don't believe this. I think this is a bot response. I absolutely know this is a bot response. And YouTube is being lazy about it. They only, like the guy said, they only really fix things when they get called out. So I'm going to keep calling them out on this every single time it happens. It is not fair to LXOX and all of the other people it's happened to. Because she's not the only one. She's not the only VTuber it's happened to. She's not the only person it's happened to, YouTuber. It is not fair that they just, once you ask for an appeal, there should actually be a human being dealing with it. Not just your automated bot system again. It should not be that. And I'm angry at this because it could happen to me. It can happen to any one of you who has a YouTube channel. We're moving on to some happier stuff, some different things going on there. Iron Mouse uh, was a little zooted, medicated, which, you know, she needs a medication for her specific situation that she has. This is kind of life-saving medication. Not kind of. It is life-saving medication. It's medication that keeps her up, keeps her mobile, keeps her able to be the lovely mouse that we all know. And Michi, of course, is the crazy Michi that we all know by now. Let's take, let's take a listen. <gasps> Wait, if Mouse is zooted, I have a question for you. What's your first impression of me? Oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> no, this is going to sting or make me feel really good. Oh, it's going to sting. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. which, which impression? The first one. The first, first, first one? Yeah, like first ever, ever. When you were in... <laughs> Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, 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 oh Mousy, look, look at this guy, it's crazy. I think it's like a light. I think the lights are on because it's a morning time. Whoa, yeah. I mean, did you know that the sun was a star? <laughs> 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 Why are you scared? <laughs> You're free that's now. Too far... <laughs> yeah, that's too far back. Yeah, just rewind seven months. You're right. You're free What's now. Your... <laughs> what do you mean? I've always been free. Yeah. <laughs> <He's> scared. <laughs> I mean, what is your first impression? Genuine question. Uh, man, she's awesome. <laughs> that is a good first impression. <laughs> but holy crap, she is very zooted. But of course, as she has mentioned recently, Mouse, Iron Mouse, that she, I hope, I think she's already better. But there was a while when she was uh, sick. She was like, I don't know if it was the flu or something. You know, it's her personal stuff. But she mentioned enough that she was feeling sick. She wasn't feeling too great. And she was taking a little bit of time off. She was taking that kind of stuff off. So that's fine and dandy. And I'm glad that she's doing better. But yeah, sometimes when you get that sick, especially with the situation that she has, her specific immunodeficiency situation, uh, her immune system situation, uh, she is going to be on medication. She's going to be on medication a lot. And of course, this is like I said before, life saving medication. So yeah, it's fun. It's fun anyways, though. It's fun to see this kind of stuff. A bit of a trip down memory lane or Azure lane in this case. Today in 2019, at least on the 26th in 2019, is a day Hololive X Azure lane collaboration. Of course, a lot of these gotcha games, a lot of the bigger gotcha games, from what I understand, are either uh, Taiwanese based or Chinese based or you know something like that. Because a lot of you know 10 cent money is in a lot of places. So with that comes. Uh, as you remember, 
the 2020-2021 uh, issue with uh, Taiwan being mentioned in Kiryu Koko's stream and also Akai Hato's stream. That got a lot of mainlanders angry. I mean, most other people didn't care, but the mainlanders got angry because Taiwan is not a country to them. Taiwan is a rogue province, province to them that they are going to bring back into the fold. So they got angry and uh, it caused a whole huge stink. Means a lot of Chinese companies don't work with, uh, not a lot, but you know, some big Chinese companies will not work with uh, Hololive anymore because of that whole situation. You see some people here. See, of course, Sora, Mio as a center. You have on the right, you have uh, Ayame, Fubuki below there, the purple onion. You have Aqua. On the left, you have Matsuri and Shion. They were all there. This is all in the moment when uh, there was no big drama going on. And of course, the livers never have any, any, like in this case, they had nothing to do with the drama. They were just doing their content, doing their own thing, reading analytics that are a part of your YouTube analytics. They're just reading YouTube analytics. Coco did it because Hachama was like, did it. And she's like, oh, well, Hachama did it. So I can read analytics as well. I didn't know I could do that. Now I know I can do that. And she did it. But the reason, the thing is, people took Coco as worse because she's an English slash Japanese speaker, she speaks both, she's more westernized. They thought it was done intentionally in that case. So a lot of companies, would unfortunately, do not go with Hololive anymore uh, when it comes to the Chinese market because mainlanders do not like still Hololive. Some of them don't. Some of them have never forgotten. But those are the antis that are always going to be antis. I have my own antis, and that's fine. I have things I should be criticized for as well. I understand that. Uh, but yeah, if they change, if people change, and in this case, they didn't really change because they didn't do anything wrong. But if people change, you give them an opportunity. Like I have, for example, just talking about opportunities, I've given opportunities to Hex, who's now Kirio, and a bunch of other people because, hey, you can always change and uh, turn over a new leaf. Of course, for those who missed it, we have Suisei's 2.0 model. She has been so very busy that it has taken forever for her to debut her 2.0 model. I'm sure her 2.0 model has been around for a while, or at least has been in the works for a while because 2.0 is take a while to actually fully create but we have the new look of her you know she has the wink feature she has the crying stuff the you know the the, the uh, all these other wonderful looks the stars in her eyes and um the new mic she's keeping the same mic as always of course but uh her new look is very very cute very very nice and of course i wanted to push it out there it says uh tupano model invading stream she can't do anniversary birthday live next year. The live tour took most of her time and the date of her birthday anniversary also too close to her Budokan live. There won't be an anniversary next year, but maybe there's going to be something else. Wink, wink. Her nose issue, which was dampened. Her singing for a long, long time is fortunately getting better. She's hoping that she can go back to more Utawuku. Utawaku? Utawaku next year? What's Utawaku? Y'all let me know in the comments down below, of course, what Utawaku is. Cover told her to schedule some rest and she's working with her manager to reduce her workload. So her stream frequency probably will stay the same as this year to probably stream holocure in a few days really nice to have a caring manager it's nice to have an agency that will do that for you i mean all agencies allow rest like that but i've heard of very few large agencies uh you know nisanji included i've heard of very few large agencies that will have your managers be like hey take a rest program this we need to do it there's no ifs ands or buts you're gonna take a rest but you decide when that day comes. But that is something that I have only heard of smaller agencies doing. Uh, but Hololive being such a large one, cover, etc. being such a large one, uh, is a good example to others like Didi Sanji, any color, any other big ones in Japan, that you should take care of your talents as much as you take care of your fan base. We go to our Hololive for a CC update, Cecilia Immigreen, of course. She posted here, up to Tilia here, Cecilia, not me is alive, however, may or may not have overdone it and turned into a ball of overfocusing on something. She will be back to normal scheduling soon and also physically present in Justice Liar's Bar. Please be quiet for now. She's taking a nap. Thanks for the update. Uh, Look forward to the collaborative stream with Justice members. Thank you, Update Tilia. Cecilia, have a good nap. Uh, Thank you, Update Tilia. Be quiet as I can for her sake. I hope she gets a good rewind. Sleep tight. Signing a zipper on this Otomo's mouth to be quiet as possible. Thanks for the update, Update Tilia. Hopefully, Cecilia will wake up just in time for the collab. And uh, she will be... Oh, God. This person just did that. Well, that's funny. But still, it's good to see that she's taken time off. She's been working on a secret project for the last couple of weeks, which has resulted on light schedules and shortened sleep time. She's pretty excited about it, though. Up to Tilia is her little RP she does when giving status updates on Twitter, pretending she's an assistant whose only job 
is to give out CC status updates. I can help, I can't help but imagine of Detilia being a CC friend plushie that she holds up on camera when Justice gets their set. Like Hachama man, Hacha manager, yes. Like Hacha manager. Bingo, I was about to give the context, uh, except that Detilia is real, very real. She's, so it's not her manager tweeting on her behalf. If you want to be as strict, she has never confirmed it one way or the other. But given that the only thing she does is telling us weekly the schedule is late or that she's hungry and makes silly CC jokes, she's also known for making personas of herself. Immer gold, Immer red. So yeah, she makes she does some RP stuff there, which is fun. It's always cute to see that from a liver, wherever they're from, whether they be Nidhi Sanji or whoever. Wherever they're from, it's fun to see livers do this. And I do hope she gets that rest that she needs. Uh, as you know, uh, the grind is something that can take a lot of stress on you. It can put a lot of stress on you, take a lot out of you. The grind that I have is not even 1% as much as the grind that the girls from Hololive or other large agencies have because they have tons of things behind the scenes. I can take a rest whenever I want. Sometimes they have... Uh, the girls have contractual obligations that prevent them from doing what I can do. So I'm giving them, you know, the leeway, as much leeway as I possibly can, because it's just really tough being in an agency, period. So, Cecilia, I do hope that you get that rest. And like I said, it, she knows, and I think everyone knows around her, that she's not going to lose anybody for taking this rest. Ki and Mint talk about their VTuber award nominations. Of course, I'm going to be skimping through this. So if you want to watch all of it, you watch it from a channel called Just The Clipper, all one word. And it's Doki and Mint talk about their VTuber award nominations. Let's take a look. VTuber awards, vote Doki Bird for VTuber of the year, best FPS VTuber, most dedicated fan base, and best VTuber. I found out that um, they put a limit on uh there was a limit on like how many people how many nominations you can get as an individual and like uh <laughs> well i mean that makes sense and like it's two so like my event nomination doesn't count as a as a person nomination like i understand why i got vtuber of the year but like <laughs> she wanted fps <laughs> i was like man <laughs> Gamer of the Year is feasible. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no. And, and the reason why that happens is because, you know, Iron Mouse is a large force. A wonderfully large force. A wonderful creator as well. And Doki has a lot of respect for Iron Mouse as well. As do everyone, pretty much. <laughs> Except the haters. I was, like, I was like, looking at my competition in Gamer of the Year and VTuber of the Year, I was just like, man... <laughs> It's, there's a higher percentage <laughs> to, to like potentially win in Gamer of the Year versus versus VTuber of the Year because I looked at who I'm up against in VTuber of the Year and I was like, from fighting the sack, I'm I'm almost going against the same people from the from the streamer awards and that's already really rough. <laughs> Very true. Got nominated. Oh, 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 sorry. I got nominated for the VTuber Awards. I'm, uh, uh, the category is... She forgot the category. Little of lady course. or... <laughs> it's, uh... Miss VTuber, I think. Is it? Girl. Girl? What's the category? <laughs> <laughs> Miss VTuber. Yeah, girl? Yeah! <laughs> That's the category, girl. <laughs> Miss VTuber. I don't know what that means. Little lady. Oh, why isn't it the little lady category then? I said, yeah, I was like, she's dressed. Yeah, I do have clothes on. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's so exciting. Wow, thank you for nominating me. <laughs> Not all VTubers can say that. So true. And yeah, they're both very appreciative. That's what I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys that they're both very appreciative. They both know that it's very hard to do. It is. It. I don't want this to sound bad, but it is a popularity contest, as all big awards like that are. It, if it is open to voting from the community, those with bigger communities and more dedicated communities tend to win. And that is normal. That is expected. That is not any kind of rigging against small VTubers or anything like that. It is just the way it works with any of these things. It's just the way it works. So I, I don't feel, you know, bitter for anything. No one that didn't get in 
Anyone who didn't get in shouldn't feel bitter. It's just one of those things that unless you're huge, you're probably not going and, you know, maybe rising star might be one of those you get into. But unless you're huge, you're not going to get you're definitely not going to get the uh, VTuber of the year or the gamer of the year, uh, you know, nominations and things like that. It's just the way all of those run. It's not only Philians that runs like that. Every single one that I know of award shows run that. Talking about Amaya Whisper today. Why are we talking about them? They are ASMR singing VA. And they are putting out a message that says not graduating as so chill. As a lot of you guys may know, I've been suffering from RSI for the past few years. Luckily, I believe it is treatable. And at a point, I did recover like 95% only to re-aggravate my injury. And now it's worse than ever. Unlucky, bro. Anyways, if you don't know what this is, it's a repetitive strain injury. And I'm uncomfortable with the cost and pain. It is in my forearms above the elbow. And it feels like it's beginning to spread to my shoulders. Especially aggravated by keyboard usage. It also affects my dexterity. I was previously in physical therapy and I've been contemplating going back for a long time now, but did not do to not wanting to take time off, etc. With it getting worse, honestly, it was a bit of a wake up call for me. I really need to receive treatment again and I'm not going to try and I'm going to try to get an assessment this week for ongoing PT. My point in writing this is that I don't know. I have a lot of trust for poison tasters and I think you guys will stand by me uh, for the most part. But it's still scary to take time off and be less consistent. Poison Tasters are is her community. I'm tired of not being able to do as much content as I want or not being able to do certain things. But most of all, the constant pain. I won't go on hiatus, but I think for the foreseeable future, I won't have schedules and will be largely focused on chatting streams and other stuff. I will also have to put certain goals, projects on hold. Everything goes according to Keikaku plan. I might be able to be back like 80% in two to three months and then take things somewhat slow from there. Really hope you can wait for me and be patient. Excuse poor qual quality T thumbnails or maybe even Twitch careers. I'm honestly really scared to take to do this guys, but I trust you guys. Thank you for being a community and I feel com comfy trusting TLDR. Still streaming, but no schedules. Focus on healing, worse thumbnails, less projects, maybe more Twitch since no uh, W8 rooms, waiting rooms, uh, Zatsus and exercise breaks. So yeah, all these types of things are good. Of course, everyone is empathizing. Everyone is saying, you know, hope that you're doing better. Hope that you continue to do well. Hope that, you know, you take care of yourself, which everyone, of course, wants first. Take care of themselves. And I hope they do take care of themselves. And I hope they come back stronger than ever after the PT. Cinder, who says prepare for Friday. It looks like it's a gaming related thing uh, for the most part. Synthesizing. It's going to be, it looks like it's going to be, oh, it might, it actually, well, in that case, it also might be a song uh, between the three of them. Now, I wonder, wonder why. Uh, Tricky V is taking a look. Cinder's giving hearts. I've got popcorn ready, everyone. Get your weapons ready, consumables, levels, and save up. There's no going back. It's going to be a tough one to fight. Good luck. But I'm going to need those potions for later. Probably better save them. And of course, Bao is like, I'm quaking for this. You girls are insane. Of course, Vienna is one of them. Cinder is another. And what's the last one? Uh, There you go. Tricky V. It looks like possibly Tricky V might be a part of it. Uh, I don't know 100%, but it could very well be Tricky V. Either way. It's amazing when people get to make these projects. Remember, each and every one of these projects could cost tens of thousands of dollars. That is a lot of money. That is a lot of energy, effort, and money put into all of this. So, of course, I do hope that it goes well. For Welcome back, everybody, to the VTuber Showcase, the place where I like to showcase up-and-coming VTubers of all sizes, shapes, forms, because I want to create a better space for VTubers, a better place for us all. I am very happy to do this. I don't like the negativity that happens. And of course, on this Thanksgiving, I do want to continue this trend. Of course, thank you for being here. Cherry is the person we're going to be talking about today. Cherry is wife Ubu's uh, Cherry Glitch. They are on Twitch and on uh, YouTube from what I can see. Their Twitch channel is here. They have uh, their bot section is... They are a Cherry VTuber, soft spoken succubus when not threatening, devourer, horror content creator, a monster. So, of course, here we go with their videos because I always like to showcase a little bit of what they do to give you guys an idea of what's going on. Here we go. He keeps trying to bite my ankles, too. <laughs> Like it's kind of crazy. Where did you get him he, from? Like the pound? He's, I think you should. I think you should put him back. He's on some new medication. He's adjusting. Just give him some time. Give him some time, of course. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, someone clipped it. <laughs> Bad dog, do not shit in the house. Oh god, they're fighting in the background. Hilarious. Of course, let's take a look at Cherry Glitch over here. It looks like this is the place where they put their vods. Uh, they also seem to be doing a little bit of, yeah, 
with uh, Paincore and other things. They seem to be doing a kind of restream type of thing, co-streaming, whatever you want to call it, on both YouTube and Twitch, which is also something that I do. And again, thank you so much, Cherry Glitch, for allowing me to showcase you on my channel. I do hope this helps you get more eyes on yours. And on this Thanksgiving, hopefully it can uh, help you out a little bit, at least get yourself out there a bit more. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.